Ну, Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome. It's Friday night, and you know what that means. It is NLG show night. It is I. Yay. Yeah. It is I, <laughs> Mike Mullis, along with my two cohorts. Yeah, this is Peter, aka HDK. And Chris Williams, aka Fastback. What is going on, boys? Uh, tough week, but uh, glad it's weekend. Yeah, weekend is here. Man, I, is here. So I hear I hear a little sniffle. Yeah, I have a cold after uh, a uh, horrible week of a uh, huge mess in the house, but uh, uh, like a phoenix, we're rising from the ashes, <laughs> or from the or from the dust, I should say. From the dust. Uh, is there light at the end of this tunnel, though? There's light in the end of the tunnel. Right. Yeah, I should be able to get to my consoles uh, uh, by this weekend. So excellent. That will be nice. Awesome. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully you can break out the VR. We can play some Bridge Crew. Yeah. I then, then, I, then I won't see a mess. So that might be good. There idea. you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I tell you, I love, I love that game, and uh, I got a chance to play with, um, with uh, Super Cooper, and um, the the cool thing about it was he was playing on PC. I was playing on PSVR. And the crossplay worked perfectly, including, um, including audio. I could hear him. I can hear his voice. He could hear me, and it was oh, cool. it was really cool because you know, with the VR, you wear a headset, you wear a head either headphones or you could wear you know earpiece or whatever. When where you are on the bridge, uh -huh. when he when they when we were talking back and forth. The, there you could hear it positionally so like if i got if i was up front um at the helm and he was in the captain's chair his voice came across my right my right uh headphone that was, cool. that was really cool nice so the game is great i so enjoy it so enjoy it and i'm looking forward <clears throat> i've been stuck on vr all week i mean just i don't know why just just playing even the demo stuff that I go back to, but like I have battle zone, I have wipeout, I have, uh, mm. uh, of course I just got, um, you know, just got bridge crew. I'm waiting on Moss to go on sale. Cause I really want to get that. And now, um, Astrobot, which we'll talk about, you know, it's one of the, uh, one of the big, one of the big games of the, of the week. Um, yeah. so, but yeah, uh, I saw some videos about it. It's, I don't think it's completely my cup of tea. Maybe you have to try it. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's definitely know. it's definitely one of those games that you don't think could work in VR, but it seems like it does. So yeah, but I'm not sure. It's a game I want to play in VR, but I don't know. There's a demo, right? Isn't there? Um, I don't know if there's a demo or not. Uh, I'll have, have to see. see. I will check it out. I'll have to see. Cause it it well it's based upon remember the demo, remember the demo disc right? Yeah. So there was a there was like a there was a a little mini game like this in the demo disc, and it was oh, okay. It was like a pla it was basically a platformer, so it, right. in the style of like Moss and stuff like that, and I loved it. So I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna take a look at it. Um, and hopefully grab it uh, soon. Yeah. yeah, after Christmas I will be playing uh, Fireball. Oh yeah, right. And my and my gun. So that will be that will be uh, exciting. Nice. Well, I did play the. Um, so I told you last week I played the We Happy Few demo. Oh yeah. And I realized yeah. after playing it once, that was it. There really wasn't anything else to it. Um, yeah. It was basically uh, you. You fed the you fed Uncle Jack some news um, some news things to read on the air, uh -huh. and then 
the containment breaks down and then you're somehow in the air with butterflies around you and then it says buy the game so uh, yeah uh, that's lame it would be cool if the whole game was in VR but I don't think it is uh, so huh. and it looks like Moss is 20 bucks I'm gonna have to get that yeah that looks like a good game yeah Moss I well I, it was it, it was a, I did play the demo on a demo disc and it was really phenomenal yeah so um yeah, so we'll have some more chance to talk uh, uh, PSVR and um, overall PlayStation next week. Uh, we're bringing the brawl back on next week, mm. so you need to get better by next next Friday night, Peter. Yeah. So yeah, bro, I'll I'll, I'll do my best. All right, we get. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna I'm gonna drive down and bring you some chicken soup, man. Chicken soup. <laughs> That's what happens. That's what's up. Yeah. So, Damn. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, PS Bros is going to come on with us, and we're going to do a um, year in PlayStation review show, um, and then we're going to do we're going to try to do a year in in um, a year in Xbox review uh, with another guest that we're, we're we're working on, and then I don't know anybody who wants to come on and talk Nintendo, so we might have we might have to do a uh, a self Nintendo year in review. So Nintendo, yeah, so. yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. Switch. That's right. You guys both have switches. Yep. We got this. We do. So, all right. Um, well, you, you've been down and out, so you haven't played much. What about you, Chris? Uh, played Beginning of the week, I played uh, a little bit of um, Fallout 76, uh, everybody's game of the year. And uh, <laughs> so definitely enjoying that. So then I you know, took a break uh, pretty much during the week. I didn't really do much until yesterday. And uh, jumped on the uh, the show and party chat with a bunch of other be- folks, and uh, had a good time last night. That was fun watching that. Yeah, um, and uh, and then of course once uh, they said Ashen was available, you know, try a little bit of that last night, and I'm I'm playing that right now. So and right now I'm I'm staring at a, some big old lobster looking creature, and I'm like, eh, kind of hesitant. Looks cool. Looks great, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but my week's been real quick. My week's been real good. You know, it's been a busy week. So, but we capped it off. Uh, got off early at work, and nice. we did like a team building deal. We do that. Try to do that every every quarter. So we went to a place called Main Event. I don't know if y'all ever heard of that. I'm not sure if y'all have that around y'all's area. I don't. I don't think we do. Kind of like a Dave and Buster's. Okay. But it has bowl, bowling and has games and you know pool and stuff like that. Food and. So we did that. So I already had my couple beers earlier and had a good time with the guys at work. Beer. And uh, uh, let's see. So let me show this off. I picked this up. I, I tweeted it out. Ooh, Shadowgate. Yeah. Shadowgate. Uh, this was like 10 bucks. This was at a little mom and pop place. And, uh, you know, for a long time I've been like, well, I, I need to start collecting up, building up my N- Nintendo collection. NES, Super NES games, and, you know, I, I, I was looking for a Super NES console. He didn't have none. He used to have several and a lot of games uh, years back. But I guess over the years, uh, the popularity, you know, with the Super NES Mini and the NES Mini have come out, I think it's kind of gotten people back into the, oh, I remember, you know, playing those. Let me go, you know, try one out. So pick one up. Oh, and our, uh, our man Juan did a... Uh... Retro he did. on he, Shadowgate. He did, yeah. And I so. gave him some recognition on Twitter on that. Yeah. So, uh, and then real quick, I'm going to show off uh, one of oh. thousands of diecast Mustangs. Uh, this is a 67, 68. Hang on. Here's what I don't know if y'all can. Yeah, hang kinda on. Kind of hard to see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch uh. this. The magic of, the magic <laughs> of podcasting. Go ahead. All right. Nice. Yeah, so. I got tons of these. So I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show one each every show. Sweet. So, yeah. Nice. Got tons of these. So, but I'm ready. I'm. I was asleep earlier. I was groggy, but I'm. I'm awake now. Ready to, ready to talk rock some and games roll. with y'all. All anyway, right. Let's go. Now let's get this underway because I don't want to. Uh, and I appreciate everybody in the chat real quick. Oh, Sabir, yeah. Jeff, Coop, Our- Coop. I hope your back is okay. <laughs> uh, so. Oh, boys. It's all good. He's been carrying everybody. He's been carrying. <laughs> <laughs> Siberia, 
said, is that a Camaro? Sir, you are out. <laughs> so I'm going to boot that guy up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, hey, real, real quick before we get underway with the uh, – because you mentioned it. Um, uh, look, folks, Xbox Game Pass continues to be uh, for real. Geez. Look at the look at the stuff yeah. that's coming in December. <clears throat> so we got Ashen that came yesterday. We got mm-hmm. Below that's coming next week. Mm-hmm. Both in the Game Pass. Mortal Kombat X is in, is coming to Game Pass. That's fantastic. Yeah. We knew about Hellblade. Shadow Warrior 2, um, Pro Evolution Soccer 19, Sprint, tire, uh, Sprint Tires Mud Runner, yeah. and Ori in the Blind Forest. Um, I mean, just for that set, it's already worth it. Yeah. 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 The, just this month's edition. This is, <coughs> this is insane. It's such a good deal. And then, of course, you know, you know, Phil wants to bring this to mobile and... Um, you know, and PC and streaming. So, um, Game Pass is about to get ramped up. No, this is the future, guys. I mean, this is yep. this this is where it's going, and um, I'm glad because I I, I I will always say this helps me as a as a as a dad. So, yes, you know, when you do the family share, and then you know they can use a Game Pass also. Okay, I mean, that's yeah, just. just I can just afford to play Doubles these the things. Doubles the value, yes. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah. I mean, you get exposed to more games than <laughs> if you would have had, uh, had to buy them. Yeah. So. All right. So. Let's get on to the uh, main topic. And that is this year's Video Game Awards, which happened yesterday. The, the you know, the, the oldie Jeff Keighley show, five years old. Undead is in the room. What's up, Nicholas from Tick, our brother in arms. What's up, Undead? So, um, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go down the list. Um, I don't want to take too too long in talking about um, getting in the weeds of, of some of the the junk stuff like esports events and whatnot. Um, you know, but, but I want to touch on the games, of course. Um, and, uh, and I want to start by actually, so I got to commend Jeff Keeley for, for the production value of his show. I mean, I, I mean, I remember when it was the Game Awards on, uh, you know, the, the VGAs on Spike, and it was pretty decent then. But, I mean, the production value of last night's show at the Microsoft Theater was completely off the charts. I mean... It was better than I've seen E3 conferences. Um, I mean, it was, uh, you know, and, and, and he had some big names there. Um, you know, Jonah Hill, Christoph Waltz, um, uh, Sprawn the, the, or Prawn the Muppet was there. He had a Muppet, which is funny because uh, he, he tweeted that out last night. He said, Muppet, can't believe I got a Muppet. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, and Hans Zimmer, man, conducting the orchestra. I mean, that was that was unbelievable. Yeah. The music was fantastic. The the uh, you know you had Joel McHale, who's always good, and Christoph Waltz, man, he came out and had jokes. <laughs> he came out, he came out and had jokes. So I mean, it was he really put together such a great um, such a great show, and. Uh, you know, commend him for it. And there's, and you know, the, the the one thing that it's all that that I really liked that they did that he did this year. And I don't know whose idea it was. I really don't. I don't know if it was his. I don't know if it was um, the guys in question. I don't know. Um, I I don't know. But um, I'm looking for it because I posted this. Give me a second. Um, I meant to grab this picture, and I don't know why I didn't. Hang on one second. There it is. Open in browser. Save the picture. And there we go. So 
this is how, for those of you who didn't watch the whole show, you're not seeing things. This is not a Photoshop. Phil Spencer, Sean Layden, and Reggie fils walked out on stage together to talk about the industry coming together to celebrate itself, to celebrate games, to celebrate, you know, um, to celebrate the gamers, to, to, to talk for a night about unity and gaming. And, I mean, look at Phil smile, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, this, this, I caught this at, at just one, you know, Reggie doesn't, Reggie's not upset. You know, Sean's not, <laughs> Sean's not arrogant. But look at Phil's smile. I mean, that, that is genuine. And it's always been genuine with him. Um, even when you don't, even when you don't like everything he says, at least, at least he's, you know, go ahead, Peter. No, I think, I think it's because he's, he's gamer at heart. He's gamer first and then everything else second. Yeah. <clears throat> Absolutely. And while the other ones are more, you know, the, uh, you know, the, the big hats first and then gamer second, or at least that's how I see and, and you know. Sean, oh, I see them. So. Yeah, I, Sean Layden, I can see like that. I'm not sure about Reggie though. Reggie, because if you watch some of the videos Reggie puts on uh, with Nintendo, he's very—I don't mean this in a bad way—he's very jovial and kid-like. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he really, you know, like him and Miyamoto. I think they have true passion. For for what they do and for the and for the games that they that they put out and um, I know you know and I know Phil's that way I'm I think Sha, you know Sean Layden I think his issue is that he's he's kind of umbrellaing most everything the, the guy who has a really good smile all the time is uh, Shuhei Yoshida like he just always is happy for um, uh, is happy to be you know. Um, to be around gaming and stuff, and you can see it. So, you know, but but this isn't this to me was such a powerful picture, and for one night, everybody could shut up and and put down their put down their Twitter and put down their console warring and just enjoy gaming. And so, I really thought this was a fantastic moment. To start the show off with, yeah. So, what's up, Matt? Yeah, I agree. So, all right. Quickly, gonna jump out. Come jump back in. My Skype is acting up. I don't see the, uh, the screen. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Oh, okay. We see you. You don't hold. Oh, you know what? Hang on. I don't think it's you. Oh, Chris, do you see it? No. Uh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. And it's not me. It's not you. It's our uh, cameraman. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. Uh, okay. There we go. At least, at least the audience didn't see that. I oh think yeah. It's no. always something with this show. Always something. That, uh, yeah. So you know, I see the mobile, and uh, but it's a little delayed. <laughs> so anyway, there's the picture. So. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's. No, I think it was a it was a great idea. Uh, yeah, doing this, uh, doing the you know, the three amigos. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a great message. That's the way it should be. Agreed. It's also a message like, "Hey, Google, stay out of it," and Amazon, and <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Don't make us join. <laughs> oh, well, Don't make us join yeah. forces. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the two on the right are. Join the forces somewhat. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, they, you know, it's, these are the big three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you know what? When we do our, our year in Xbox review, we'll really dive into some of the things that Phil has done because they are, it is substantial where Microsoft is going. You know, Sony is on their trajectory to sell a gazillion, uh, a gazillion PlayStations. And, you know, Nintendo's doing Nintendo's thing. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, all all three are doing extremely well. Agreed. Absolutely agreed. Okay, let's get moving. Um, so I want to go through the the award winners first, 
and then we could talk about a couple of the games that uh, the world premieres. Um, I figure we won't take too too long on the on the awards themselves. So um, I'm going to go from bottom to top because the top, of course, um, is the game of the year, and we'll just start with some small stuff. Uh, first off, we've got. Um, Oh, I didn't even download a picture of it. Uh, best debut indie game was a game called The Messenger from Sabotage Studio. Um, looks pretty cool. Uh, don't know why I didn't grab an image of it, but um, that's your best debut indie. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. All right, so best multiplayer game. So. This is where this is this is where um, very much uh, opinions vary. So the the nominees were Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Destiny 2, Fortnite, Monster Hunter World, and Sea of Thieves. All of them, all of them great in their own right. But of mm -hmm. course, since to be honest, we all know that this is somewhat of a popularity contest, right? We can agree on that. Yeah. Fortnite was your winner. So, of course, yeah. Um, which, yeah, I, I guess it depends on what you're looking for in your multiplayer. Um, yeah. You know, Monster Hunter World and Sea of Thieves are two totally different types of multiplayer game than Call of Duty Black Ops Four and and yeah. Fortnite. So maybe a multiplayer game. Yeah, you could add so many different games to it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, maybe, ones, like like Forza, that's a multiplayer game, right? <laughs> you know, right. that's racing, right. and then you have a whole bunch of other stuff, it's like, right? You know, you know, it's yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it's an honor that Sea of Thieves was on up there. It Absolutely, yeah. and it deserved to be. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. it deserved to be. And you know what? I am I I have to admit I'm falling behind in my um in my playing of it. I've got to play some uh um uh, some of the the new what was it called the What's the new uh, the stuff? Uh, I don't know. Can't keep up. Can, yeah, I've played it. I played it this week. The shroud. But, it's like the fog. Yeah. Curse sales. No, yeah, well, that's old. I know. <laughs> Curse I know. sales. See, I'm behind too, and I yeah. told Siberia we need to get in there and start, you know, yeah, getting back into it once in a while. Yeah, I agree. It's that game is great until you know, up to the moment that you encounter PC players with macros on. Yeah. yeah, and that maybe you know, and then they spoil us. But right. <clears throat> somehow I think you know, with the whole Microsoft and you know, oh yeah, now we're gonna support keyboard and mouse on the Xbox and games. You know, they can have an option for you know to don't play against us kind of people. I bet Sea of Thieves is the last game that they ever gonna implement that toggle. Simply because they just believe that this is the best thing since sliced bread. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Even though it's 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 not. But don't mention anything in the COT forums because all those PC crybabies they will <laughs> cry you a river. <laughs> it's disgusting. Damn. No cold. Um, no cold I mean, will stop Peter. Yeah. No. I mean, <laughs> I think maybe COTs will be my game of the year, but I'm gonna withhold it just because of this bullshit. So no game of the year for me. That's it. That's it. You got Peter, nominated. H T Key has spoken. Has spoken. <laughs> has spoken. All right. Uh, Chris, any thoughts? Uh, no, I mean, just you know, it's no surprise. I mean, Fortnite has been everywhere. I see my nephew. I see my best friend. I see a lot of kids that I know. They're playing it on the phone. Uh, we got my nephew a Switch for his his birthday. He's playing Fortnite on the Switch. So. I've seen it on TV shows. I've seen it in the news. It's everywhere. Halloween. But the it, game is no old, though. Surprise. Isn't it like a already a year old? Yeah. Should it be allowed to be nominated for multiplayer game? That's see, a good question. See, yeah. last year, the, the... I mean, we know the, the base game came out, right? When did but, the Battle Royale... We talked about this. When did the Battle Royale part come out? Because Didn't that come out right before uh, PUBG came on uh, Xbox? 
Did they beat PUBG? <sighs> you know, and that got a lot of noise. Yeah. Because right you know so, what? Because Peter's got a point. This released in 2017. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. So what other game was on there? Did you see Destiny? Destiny Two was on there. Yeah. When did that come out? Um, Destiny Two came out September 6, twenty seventeen. Yeah. Wasn't I mean, it just for online? You... Ongoing multiplayer game? No. This no ongoing. Yeah, ongoing is a, ongoing's a whole, okay. Yeah. Ongoing is a different yeah. one. So that's a good question. I think we need to take that up. I'm going to write that down. We're going we're going to go we're going to ask Jeff about this. Yeah. Oh. Oh man, Jago. Oh, Jago. Yeah. 13 hour day, home for 2 hours exhausted and he still he still came into the chat room. Yeah, that's hard. That's, that's hardcore. Man, that's hardcore. Man, I I was going to, you know, that yeah. that's 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 huge. So Coop was saying <laughs> September. Yeah. Fork, fork knife, as uh, as yeah, the Muppet said, up. fork knife. Yeah, so it beat it beat PUBG to the console. It did. And then uh, PUBG came out in what December, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to ask about that. That is a good. That's a good point. All right, well, move, next year we can do the same list. Well, yeah, you know, really? <laughs> the thing is, because it came. Oh no, it came out before the Game Awards last year. So yeah, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Well, maybe they had a cutoff or something. Well, you know, Epic did Epic did pay the bit, a lot of bills hmm. for that show, so maybe that's why. I don't know. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to find out about this. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, best sports racing game. This is this is one of those ones that I'm I'm, I one of the complaints I have about the show, um, is that they combined best sports and racing game as if sports and racing i mean well i guess you know esports uh, some, some racing can be sports I but guess. not all racing is sports i guess <laughs> right so, i yeah i guess so i yeah i mean formula 1 is sport it's a sport it's a sport i'll give you that but like uh no forza horizon 4 is not sports in my opinion no i don't think so Rocket League is sport, but that one. So that one best. I don't know. Yeah, that's so, uh, that's an all. Yeah, that that's, was my. Yeah, that was not that a was racing. A, that was my first. That was the first time I was upset about this category. All right. So yeah. the the so it was FIFA 19, Forza Horizon 4, Mario Tennis Aces, and uh, NBA 2K19, and Pro Evolution Soccer 2019. And uh, I would not have been surprised if NBA 2K19 had won it, but. We know what we know which game. Mm-hmm. Forza Horizon Four was your big winner, yes, sir. Yeah. And again, nice. well deserved. Mm-hmm. Well deserved. And we got a uh, we got the the teaser and the announcement about um, Fortune Island, the uh, yeah. upcoming DLC. So I'm trying to figure out. I've been trying to figure out um, exactly what that is. The Fortune Island. So we'll have a little more on that when it comes out. It's going to be out yeah. uh, next week, I think. Yeah, for twenty bucks. Uh, but it was also nice that for for I think it's the first time that a Forza game had got some presence on the stage, right? Because when Forza Horizon Three won, it was like a quick in between, you know, announcement. Uh, yeah, you know, it's like so they finally got recognized. Yes. Well, it's it's the best selling Forza game. It's best yeah. for, it's out there. So, yeah. yeah, the uh the the Fortune Island and um and there was some new uh cars coming too. Uh the Ram 1500, the uh uh a new Lamborghini, BMW. Uh, so they're releasing some cars uh cars as well. Um Yeah, treasure chests and all kinds of stuff. Uh, the oh, there will be times when the aurora borealis will be visible. That's Ooh, gonna be pretty nice. cool. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, great for and great for uh, Aaron Greenberg to be able to get up on stage. So, mm-hmm. all right, moving on. Uh, best strategy game. It was uh, between the Banner Saga Three, BattleTech, which I can't believe is still out there. 
Frostpunk, Into the Breach, and Valkyria, uh, uh, Valkyria Chronicles 4. And uh, the winner, a game I have absolutely no idea what is. Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Into the Breach. I have no idea what huh. this game's about. <clears throat> no. Never heard Me. of it. Subset I'm sure games. Frankie does. Oh, I'm he sure. Yeah. Is um, it in Game Pass? If not, it then... is not in Game Pass. If it's not, then I will not play it and not ever play it, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, best family game. This one might actually interest you, Peter, because uh, uh-huh. it's, it's the sequel to a game that I know you played and liked. So best family game is uh, best game appropriate for family play, irrespective of genre or platform. And the nominees were Mario Tennis Aces, Mario Labo, which, by the way, crashed and burned like a uh, like a hot uh, hot mess. Overcooked Two, Starlink Battle for Atlas, and Super Mario Party, which I thought might have won, but uh, the big winner is Overcooked. Mm-hmm. Overcooked Two. Ah, uh, nice. yeah. So, uh, my still need to give that one a shot. Yeah, my friends are over at Team Seventeen. They are uh, cool. and Ghost Town Games needs to come to uh, Game Pass. Yes, um, Overcooked either is in Game Pass or was it Games of Gold? The first one's in Game Pass, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, that or it was Games of Gold. And this one too, you can play online, isn't it? Yes, yeah. this one has online multi. Yeah. So, all right, next up. Best fighting game. Uh, you freeze out. Yeah, you froze up. That's all right. I got you when you yeah. do. Okay. Um, so the nominees were Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Soul Calibur Six, Street Fighter Five Arcade Edition, uh, which should not have belonged there because Street Fighter Five came out like two years ago. Mm. So um, I was pulling for Soul Calibur Six myself, um, but I'm biased. I love Soul Calibur. However, the winner was. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Mm. Never played it, but I heard it's good. Looks good. So uh, everybody seems to love like Dragon Ball is as a big following around here. Yeah, I enjoyed watching the series. Me and my wife. So mm. there you go. All right. So uh, and we'll get we'll we'll talk about fighting games in a minute because I know people are I know people are talking about it. In the in the chat, trust me, uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting. Don't worry. Chat, st- stay on topic. <laughs> <laughs> the topic is Mortal Kombat 11. All right, best uh, yeah, no. best role playing game, not named uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Mm. I am still bitter about this. I'm sorry, Jeff. Still bitter. This the, yeah. it deserved to be nominated, even if it didn't win. Yeah, agreed. So yeah, because last night, you know, it yeah. Well, Are we in that category right now? We're in that category now. Uh, yeah, it just didn't make sense. I mean, the Monster Hunter World. It's more like Coop said. It's more of an action RPG. So, well, yeah. to an extent, did it really fit in with the others? Well, to an extent, I mean, I, uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance is also an action RPG. It's not your typical role, yo know, turn base, but. Yeah. It deserved to be there, and there are reasons that it's not that people don't want to admit. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yeah. And people who are are, are in tune with with what goes on in the, in the in the industry and what goes on on social media and stuff like that, they know what I'm talking about. So the nominees were Dragon Quest. 11, Echoes of an Elusive Age, Monster Hunter World, Nino Kuni 2, which I actually want to play Nino Kuni. I hear this is good. Octopath Traveler, and Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire by by uh, newly acquired Obsidian, uh, newly acquired to Microsoft. Mm. And of course we know that the uh, the big winner was Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yeah. So. Um, all right, so we, we've said our piece on that one. Um, Rick, we love you. <laughs> what else to say? <laughs> all right, best action... But with Rick or without Rick, I mean, you know. No, I, I, know. I know. 
It's a good game. It's a very solid game. I can't wait to see what what Warhorse does next. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, I would make sure that luck picking is easier. Yeah. I'll tell you what I would love to <laughs> ah, see. Ah, it's happen. not that hard now. No, not now. Yeah. I mean, it fixed it, or they, they made did. it easier. So. I would love to. I would love for them to get with Cinemaware, an old PC company, and and work with them on a remake of Defender of the Crown. They they would they've got the chops to do it. So Okay. Uh best action and adventure game, which got a very small mention. Um it was almost a pre show mention, but it was just kinda like, oh hey, best action game, by the way, this guy won. Um, yeah. Best action game, which is the best action adventure game combining combat with traversal and puzzle solving. Your nominees were Assassin's Creed Odyssey, God of War, Spider Man, and Red Dead Redemption Two, which I don't doesn't have any traversal, but okay. And Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, I would have thought that either Tomb Raider or Spider Man would have won this. However. Kratos and Boy won. God of War. And can't say I'm disappointed. Got hellaciously good uh, combat. Traversal. And traversal is kind of forced traversal, though. Yeah, uh, agreed. I agree. It's like a, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's definitely a, a great game and probably uh, deserve them, you know. It's better than Red Dead. By a landslide. <clears throat> yeah. So. The only game I, I, you know, the only game that I probably would not have seen win at all would be Red Dead here. But I could have seen Tomb Raider, Spider-Man, or, or Assassin's Creed take this as well. So yeah. I'd be curious as to how close the vote was on this category. Would have yeah. been nice I, if Spider-Man had at least won one. Yeah. I think my three was like, uh, you know, this one. Um, Tomb Raider and, and Odyssey. I think Spider Man. It's because it's Spider Man, but the game itself is is just all right. Okay. Well, <clears throat> if you're looking for the best, that's what you yeah, know. It's looking for the best. So right. Yeah. I mean, this game, you know, kept me wanting to play every day. So uh, Odyssey. Uh, or well, uh, that too. No, this uh, oh, God of War. God of War. Yeah, agree. So that's you know. To me, that's a, that's a huge factor. Yep. Do I want to complete it? Can I, you know, can I wait to, you know, yep. for my next free free minute to just play it and so. Yeah, yeah, very much so. All right. So, best action game. So this is different than action adventure. For the best game in the action genre, focused on combat. So it was Black uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Four, Dead Cells. Destiny 2, Far Cry 5, Mega Man 11. I don't know how Mega Man 11 snuck in there if it's solely yeah, based on combat. Over the... but... Yeah. So this was one I thought Call of Duty 4 would have been a shoe in, especially dropping the, uh, the single player to focus on multiplayer combat because that's all the game is. But Dead Cells was your winner. I don't know why. Yeah, uh, I don't know either. I mean, it looks kind of like a, 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 a like a shinobi type game, but I don't know. And I saw a lot of video on Far Cry Five. Um, I guess because Dead Cells is like a is like a metro, or not a Metroidvania, but um, I know that I know it was. Uh, it was like, you know, Castlevania meets, um, like I said, meets Shinobi. So I guess, you know, I, I guess you can't be too, you know, too upset about it. But I'm just surprised because Far Cry 5 and, and Call of Duty, and, and for that matter, Destiny 2 had a lot of combat in it too. So Jeff is saying it deser that Dead Cells deserved it. So I'm going to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Jeff. Now, Jago says Dead Cell should have been in a different category. What category would it have been in other than maybe Indie Game? 
Yeah, there's an action game. Yeah. Plenty of action. All right. Next up, best VR AR game. Best game playable, best game experience playable in virtual or augmented reality, irrespective of platform. Uh, Astrobot Rescue Mission, Beat Saber, Firewall Zero Hour, the one for you, Peter, Moss, yeah. and Tetris Effect. The winner of that category turned out to be Astrobot. Mm. So I'm I'm curious when I, when this game goes on sale, I definitely want to get it. So I, we were, that's why we were talking earlier about it. But that's uh. That's your game. Um, surprised it beat Moss and Beat Saber. I can't speak for Firewall Zero Hour, but you can. I mean, it's... Yeah, from what I've seen, yeah. yeah. To me, the Firewall Zero Hour is, is my type of game. <laughs> yeah. And Coop, I don't know if you were... Um, I don't know if you were in the chat room earlier, but uh, Moss is on sale for 20 bucks, so... I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna snag that while it's on sale. Yeah, I'd like to see one of y'all stream that. All right, it might have to be Coop because um, well, I guess I could do it directly from the console. We'll see. Uh, let's see, best mobile game. Never heard of Donut County, but I heard that. I mean, I heard of it mm -hmm. last night. Uh, Florence Fortnite. PUBG Mobile and Reigns Game of Thrones, and surprisingly, Fortnite did not win. It was a game Ooh. called Florence, an interactive story about love and life. Yeah, my um, I, I saw Florence and um, Donut Hole at Pat South last year. Yeah, and both me and my daughter, uh, we played we played Donut Holes. It was kind of cool. It was just, Donut Country. Yeah, Donut Country. Just you know, you're. It's a cool little indie game. I mean, it's, there's a hole in the ground that you move around and you try to get the the town, the people in the hole, you know. Hmm. It's just weird. It's just a different concept, you know. You know, you try to get the town to fall in the hole. Hmm. So it's just <laughs> uh, weird. It's, right. it's funny. Uh, and uh, Florence, I didn't play it. My daughter did it. It was on a tablet, and she liked it. So she, uh, I guess when it was available on Steam, she she picked it up. So Cool. Yeah. All right. So that was that. Um, best indie game, best independent game, or outstanding creative and technical achievement in a game made outside the traditional publisher system. Uh, the nominees were Celeste, Dead Cells, Into the Breach, Return of the Obra Din, and The Messenger. And the winner of that category turned out to be Celeste. Another game I don't know anything about. Yeah, me neither. By Matt Makes Games. So. Alright, moving on. Uh, don't care about games for impact. Best performance awarded to an individual for voice acting, motion, and or performance capture. Uh, this had some very good um, nominees in it. So we had uh, Brian Deckert as Connor from Detroit Become Human. Christopher Judge as Kratos from God of War. Uh, Melisanthe Mahut as Cassandra, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Roger Clark as Arthur Morgan, Red Dead Redemption 2. And Yuri Lowenthal as Peter Parker from Marvel's Spider-Man. And... Uh, so I was surprised with this one because I was all expecting, to be honest with you, Christopher Judge to win this one um, just because it was God of War. But as it turns out, Roger Clark is Arthur Morgan. Yeah. I, and he definitely sounded like him, too. <laughs> well, I would hope so. It was his voice. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> but, I mean, I, I don't know. I... <sighs> Was it's he kind really? of funny. He doesn't it doesn't look like he has that voice though. No. No, he doesn't. But I mean, was he really that good over Cassandra or Kratos? Cassandra, yes. Yeah, that's why I asked. I don't like the that. I don't like the their voices. 
I'm sorry. They have their accents are so fake. Well, in Assassin's like Creed Odyssey. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, both of them horrible. <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> Send your tweets to at HTK360. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but I thought I thought Christopher Judge would win this um, for no other reason than boy became a like a household meme. Yeah. So. All right. So that was one of the first. Um, the first of the awards that Red Dead Redemption racked up. Uh, next, we had Best Audio Design, presented by Dolby, recognizing the best in-game audio and sound design. Uh, the nominees were Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Forza Horizon 4, God of War, Spider-Man, and Red Dead Redemption 2. And uh, Red Dead won that one. So... Mm. I can't speak for Black Ops or Marvel Spider-Man, but the more I thought about it, the more I agree with this. Of all the games on here, I think we're, I think if if we're being honest about what audio design really is, if Forza Horizon Four is is cool, but it's I don't I don't the the the, the engine the engine sounds don't do it for me like the motorsport series did. Um, you know, I don't think it's, I don't think it's a spectacular audio design. Red dead had a really, had a, had, it was really yes. with the ambience and, and all the things going on in the world that you could hear. I kind of agree with this one. Now, Coop yeah. is saying the sound design in blops is amazing. So I, I can't speak to blops. But I will f find out after Christmas. There you go. But coming back to uh, Forza Horizon, car horns, they should have been authentic. Yes. They're not. No. You have generic horns. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just based on that, that should not even be a, a nominee. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Peter is, Peter is savage tonight, <laughs> man. Yeah. Uh, so is it getting sick? I I feel like I'm getting sick now too. Oh, I'm getting that sniffle. Yeah. Um, it's contagious. That yeah, is. I agree with Jaga. The the motor sounds have never been as crisp as they are in, in motorsport. I just think they've, you know. So all right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. best score music presented by Spotify. Best score or music once again not named Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's another place where that game... And not Horizon Zero Dawn either, because it was last year's uh, right. game. Right. To me, that's, you know, when I, when I listen to the OST, that's the best one there is. That, that is one a, I can go back any time of the day. That is a beautiful OST. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> All right, so your, uh, your nominees were Celeste, God of War, Spider-Man, Nino Kuni 2, Octopath Traveler, and Red Dead Redemption 2. And uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 won this one as well. I don't think they have an official OST yet, do they? Uh, I have not heard of one. Yeah, which is a shame. It's a great soundtrack. Yeah. It would be great if it's available. <laughs> uh, it said it will be released, but not yet. Yeah. Well, what's the hold up? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, you could you could find it on YouTube though. I guess so. If you really want to listen to it, it's yeah, on, it's on YouTube. Yeah. So. If it's not on Spotify or iTunes, then yeah, it's, it's not official. I'm sorry, Jago. It's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's been a long day for me too. I ended up driving. Uh, mm -hmm. Peter will will appreciate this more than you guys who might not know i drove i had to drive to dc today so i went from yeah. upper Harper. oh dude you could have stopped by yeah i know uh Damn. i had to get home by five though so and then oh, you'd okay. have gotten me sick and then we wouldn't have been able to do the show well you, you already you said you had the sniffles so, so i do now he would have yeah. got you doing some drywall <laughs> right <laughs> all right best art direction uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, God of War, Octopath Traveler, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Return of the Obra Dinn. 
And uh, the winner of this was bizarre to me. Um, it was Return of the Obra Dinn. I've never heard of this game. Uh, it was really weird. It, it looks like an old handheld game. Yeah. So, I don't know. Huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you see? See? Jago and I are related. He he knows driving in D.C. Uh, so, I'm telling you, man. We need DNA test. <laughs> All right. Best Be narrative. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Best narrative, outstanding storytelling and narrative development in the game. Nominees were Detroit Become Human, God of War, Life is Strange 2 Episode 1, Spider-Man and Red Dead Redemption 2, and uh, this was where I thought the route was on. Red Dead Redemption 2 won Best Narrative, and I do not agree with this one at all. No. At all. I, 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 I had... I don't even think God of War. I had Detroit become human pegged to win this one. I'm yeah, still I'm in Chapter 4 of Red Dead, and so far it's been a major disappointment. Yeah. There's... <clears throat> so, yeah. I mean, I had to pick Spider-Man over Red Dead, and I hadn't played Spider-Man yet, and I know that I, I've heard a lot about that story. Um, you know, God of War, the story wasn't fantastic. It was It was cool but it wasn't fantastic but Detroit Become Human that entire game was a narrative the entire game was a story so how did that uh, popularity contest so uh, best game direction awarded to a game studio for outstanding creative vision and innovation in game direction and design the nominees were Hazelight Studios for A Way Out Quantic Dream for Detroit Become Human, Sony Santa Monica for God of War, Insomniac Games for Spider-Man, and Rockstar Games for Red Dead Redemption 2. And that winner was God of War. Um, I could see it. I could see it. Yeah. Oh. All right. Uh, best ongoing game. Uh, Destiny 2, Fortnite, No Man's Sky, <laughs> Overwatch, and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. The winner of this one was Fortnite. And I don't mm-hmm. know. I, I, right. I, I mean, I get, I, I get it, but I don't. Um, my but, you know, like you said, it, oh, only a year, but Rainbow Six Siege has been going on how long? They're on like the third oh. year. Yeah. And not just that, but now, look, I don't know how much Fortnite would actually sell if they charge for the Battle Royale, but Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege has been on at least the MPD sales top 20 mm-hmm. for the last mm-hmm. like two and a half years. Like, it's not that it's just that people are still playing it and stuff like that. People are still buying it. So, I don't know. Fortnite, I think Fort, Fortnite to me sounded like a popularity choice on this one. Yeah. So. I think you're right. If they would have, if they would charge you for it, it won't be as popular. True. That's true. See, I think, see, that's what, I think that's what made it more, in a way, more popular than PUBG. Mm-hmm. Is that you didn't have to pay for it and it gave you a chance to play it, right? So, uh, I mean, all those kids is like, hey, you know, asking their parents, "Can I play this? How much does it cost? It's free." Okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well, the other thing too is it performed better out of the box, out of the game. Yeah. You know? True. I'm not even sure if PUBG still. I don't. I don't even know if it does still have. Better, any better performance than it did a year ago. Um, it it does. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I played it once. It was kind of janky. I'm like, wow. And so I understand why Fortnite took over. Mm-hmm. It was a very missed opportunity for uh, Blue Hole. Yeah. So well, I think Blue Hole 
should have done it free to play. Yeah. Uh, that just you know then then you could really see if how that compares to Fortnite. But Fortnite just appeals more to kids so than PUBG would. Yeah, right. I mean it's more cartoony, you know. Yeah. Yep. Well, now they have that season seven thing. So, how did they get the seven seasons? Oh, well, every quarter is a new season. There you ah, go. Ah, that will do it. I think. Yeah. Wow, even with a cold, man, you're you're smart. <laughs> you're smart. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it'll make me smarter. So, so I only yawned like those <laughs> two times, Jago. I haven't yawned in the last couple minutes. Tell you what, I'll I'll duck down behind my. Uh... All That's right. why I have that screen down there. Yeah, That's right. You can't so you can can't see. We can see that porn stash. <laughs> Jago, what do you expect? A bunch of old school gamers. Come on. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Man. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, so finally, we get to game of the year. Yeah. The nominees yeah. were Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Celeste, which I think was a throw in game. Yeah. God of yeah. War. Spider-Man, <coughs> Monster Hunter World, Red Dead Redemption 2. And the winner is... No. The yeah, winner Odyssey. is... God, right. God of yeah. War. God of War won Game of the Year. I was surprised. I thought when Red Dead Redemption came out of the gate, winning... Uh, the the you know taking the first I think they took the first three out of four um, of the awards they were nominated in until God of War took one of them I was like and then it came back and won like best audio design I was like yeah the route's on this is this is your game of the year folks and nope game of the year God of War obviously and hasn't won, didn't win anything did he not a sausage no. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, it was nominated all Get Out though, so that's you know. Yeah, should have taken at least one of them. Yeah, my opinion. Uh, but you know, I, I this this I agree with. I think on the whole, I think God of War was a better game on the whole than Red Dead Redemption. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, by uh, sorry to say it, that, but by landslide. But it, but for you guys, it's because of it, the experience that it gave you, right? The impact, yeah. the story experience. Not just that, just the whole package. I think just the the, the atmosphere, the combat, the, the atmosphere, yeah. the the eye porn, uh -huh. the controls, oh. just the whole thing. And yeah. and and you know the relationship between Kratos and his son. I mean, you know, his son became a a useful tool in the game. Yeah. What about a head at his belt? Yeah. I mean, it was uh, brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, and I can't. It's kept I it, haven't kept played it God of War and... yet, so I can't oh, really. Man. I played Red Dead Redemption two, and to me, I love. To me, I like the story. It captured me because I love spaghetti westerns. So, and I felt that Arthur had that relationship, especially between him and Dutch. There's awfully that respect, but there's also that concern that he had. The way Dutch was handling the 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 game, but then as you're playing the game, you're getting to know the other characters and you're building that relationship, getting to know them. So you kind of get a better idea about what is going on, what happened in the past, and try to put things together throughout the game. So to me, I enjoyed all that. They had all that. As far as the controls and mechanics, I was to me, it's it's second nature. I, I played tons of Grand Theft Auto games it, and I played the last Red Dead Redemption it's just to me it had no problem with the mechanics uh, I understand I, some people do yeah I mean I said uh, it yesterday during the uh, during a party chat but yeah. uh, it's like with Red Dead you fire your gun your horse take a dump <laughs> and then finally that's you know the bullet yeah. comes out yeah. and it's like what the heck you know that's why that delay <laughs> but sometimes it doesn't even come out and doesn't even shoot it's like so frustrating so yeah. for that reason, that you know, Red Dead, you know, yeah. look looks good, but there's just a lot of... going on in that game, as, as far as all you know, all, everything that you can do. So yeah, but some things are repetitive, to... though. 
Smooth How many times have you found a guy on the side of the road with it's a snake me. bite? It's yeah. like, all right, we know it's snakes. It could have been Guam, but it's but, not. You know, that's games. I mean, a ton of snakes. You know, you, you, you know, you, there's a, you're, a, you have a limit on the, the variety. You can, you know, you know, every game has that. Yeah. I'm sure, I've heard that about God of War too. Like some of the enemies were, you know, you common right throughout. Uh, they all had some kind of nuance. Yeah. But yeah. definitely world deserving. So I can't wait to play God of War. Yeah. Once you have the opportunity, definitely uh, recommend it. Yeah. And Horizon Zero Dawn. To me, it's the best PlayStation 4 game. But that's my opinion. What's up, Hamster101? Hey. And of course, Jago. He's got my back. <laughs> well, you know, nah. I always say that the how I judge a game of the year for me is exactly what Peter said earlier. You know, do I do I spend every moment that I have playing that game and not playing anything else? Do I put everything else aside to play that game? Uh, Red Dead was just not that game. Yeah, but the thing is. When God of War came out, what else was out that really? There were still a hundred distract you. There were still a hundred <laughs> games in Game Pass. There <laughs> were, but I mean, not like on the level of God of War, though. Right uh, now, is Red Dead Redemption's having to compete with Assassin's Creed, Fallout seventy six, and you know the other games. Even Assassin's it. Creed is Call a better Duty. game than Red but, Red Dead. But those well, are... Coop and Coop feels that way. Yeah. Not that, you know. Not that Coop matters. Because he's a he's a, <laughs> no. he's a smart he's a smart man. <laughs> well, look, but see the thing though about that, Chris, is that I didn't buy Fallout seventy six or. No, uh, no, I understand, but I mean know, for other people is that in the fall there's just so many games, big games that come out. Is that well, you right. can get dist- if God of War had its to me it you know had its moment you know to uh, to shine on its own around the beginning of the year. But I didn't even think about buying another game while I was playing God of War. I didn't. Of course you know, not. There wasn't really much in it. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but 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 I, the you know, with Red Dead, yeah. I played it for a couple of days, and maybe for me, it was a combination of the flipping snow, and um, and just having and, and just this constant having to. Having to drive, having to drive your horse, having to ride your horse all <laughs> around, and and hold down the A button. Oh, and the speed that Arthur walks. I mean, I hear people say, hey, "You can run." It doesn't give you the same feeling, though. You run and you can barge it through a door and you tackle people and other stuff. You know, it's just. I uh, think they're trying to, you know, cowboys. You know, cowboy. You know, cowboys aren't necessarily known for their speed. It's more, you know, brute. You know. So maybe they try to imitate that, you know. Like you said, overall feel, especially against compared to Assassin's Creed, the mechanics in that are a lot, much quicker, oh, smoother. Yeah. Of course, I mean, because that's the type of game it, it is, you know, the combat. So, but even the first Red Dead it seemed speedier. You know? They might have, yeah. I, I, I you know, definitely got to I, I prefer I prefer the first Red Dead. Yeah, you know? I, I, I like the, I, the, the, this this. You know, also the story. I mean, yeah. I'm, what I'm saying, what I said is like I'm still in chapter four, but just uh, you know, Red Dead. I couldn't stop playing. I loved yeah. riding my horse around the world, and and this yeah. one is like, yeah, it's it's okay. Maybe because it's you know the the, the second in a series, so it's a little, or maybe the third, technically, but maybe it's getting old in the sense of you know, seen seen that done that. I don't know. Yeah, and I and I definitely I'm gonna go back because when I finish Red Dead Redemption two, then I'm gonna play Red Dead Redemption one because it it is the sequel. You've never to... you never played it? No, I did, but oh, okay. I kind of want to do it just so when I'm oh, done okay. and then experience that again and say, oh okay, you know, because what you know what Red Dead Redemption two had so and I recommend everybody doing that trying that. I know Jago, he didn't play the first one, and I know Mike. Hey. So yeah, yeah, uh, no big people, deal. People, people, yeah, that's a big deal. They Play. haven't played it yet. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nah, so good. 
All right, so those are the uh, those are the winners, um, and uh, like I said, you know, um, some I agree, some I don't. Mm-hmm. Yada yada yada. Yeah. So, yeah. but at least mostly, overall. yeah. Overall, most most of the choices are like, yeah, I can stand yeah. behind it. Yeah. Or at least it doesn't seem unreasonable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I agree. Just you know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not giving up my, um, my, my disappointment in getting in Kingdom Come getting no love. That's all. Yeah, but there is a there you know, and it, there is a popularity contest. You know, just some of the bigger games, uh, uh, God of War, Red Dead Redemption, and Fortnite were the top three games that got a lot of recognition throughout right. the show. So, and it, it's a shame that. Like Kingdom Come Deliverance and uh, other games get kind of lost in that. So, yeah. So. All right. So let's switch gears from the awards to some of the premiere games that came out. And I'm not going to go through all of them because Peter's sick and I don't want to hold him up. But there are some things that we want to, that we can look at that, uh, were very interesting um, and for the sake of brother Jago I know where we're starting so it was um, I should have known uh, when Ed Boon came out that um, something with Mortal Kombat was going to happen and sure enough it did it was glorious. Yeah. There you go, Jago. This is for you, brother. I I'll think this was the big surprise. This is the number one reveal on the song. Well, yeah. 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 I, I, I it agree. Was. It, it Yeah. I can't think of anything else that really jumped out at me that was... Oh. What's up, Witty? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Outer Worlds. Definitely. Yeah, we'll get to there. We'll Probably. get there. Yeah. Now, I would have liked to have seen some gameplay, but we're going to see some gameplay next year. But you can whet your appetite now with uh, <laughs> Mortal Kombat 10. Yeah. 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 yeah, this... Oof. I, did, yeah, I, mean, I grew up on Mortal Kombat, so... Yep. You know, while everybody else was playing Street Fighter, mm -hmm. this was what I was playing. You know? Well, yeah, I mean, we all started out on Street Fighter, but when that Mortal Kombat came out, ooh, it was, you know, at the arcade, put in quarters, you know. And I, my brother, who's two years younger than me, he was better than I was. He's always been better than in fighting games than me. Yeah. So, you know, when it came down to, it's like, okay, here, here here's my quarter. You, you, you beat the guy. So. Good God. <laughs> he just Did this whole back and forth was brutal. This was this, this part was awesome. Ah, uh, Jago says he's got gameplay stills. Yeah, this was crazy. Here's Daz right here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, ah, and a, and 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 we know twenty third April. Wow, community no, so there's reveal. a community event reveal yeah. event. So get, yeah, that's gonna be cool. I'm definitely gonna watch that. Yeah, cannot wait for that. Cannot wait for that. That 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 game. It just. Whew. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stock up on playing ten this month when it hits Game Pass. I'm gonna take a and break. I, the first movie, Mortal Kombat movie, was great. So oh. I think we need a we need another one. Oh, not but another. It needs to be it needs to be done right though. We need a need a. Who who you who do you get? Because Christopher Lambert was was perfect as Ray. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah. Minus the fact that he didn't fight. <laughs> so. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, the second movie wasn't. It was it was goofy, but it wasn't horrible. But I'll tell you this: yeah. they had a better Sonya Blade. San, uh, what, the, what was her name? Um, oh, hold on! Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Uh, Jago should know this right offhand. Come on, Jago. Hold on, I got the cast here. Um, Sandra Hess. She was a much better Sonya Blade. Like she, yeah, she, I think she so. kicked butt. And had uh, and having uh, Brian Thompson in there, Shao Kahn. Um, I mean, it, 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 James Remar did a passable job as Raiden. Um, you know, and and Robin yeah. Shao was always good. Like oh, he, yeah, he was yeah. great as Liu Kang. Um, Tal- uh, Talisa Soto was just adorable as Katana. What's up, Tego Goon? Yeah, what's up, Tego? Um, so, I mean, they did a passable job on the second movie. It wasn't as special and as great as the first movie because I think they no. went a little more towards the, um, uh, I guess, a little more towards the campiness. But, um, you know, the first one was special. I remember seeing... I remember seeing the first one in a theater, and I'll never forget. They're on the boat, on their way to, um, on their way to the island, and they get into a you know the the three main characters, uh, run into Sub Zero and Scorpion on the boat, and you know Sub Zero's hands start to get cold, and Sub Zero's little thing comes out of his hand, and they look like they're all about to get it on, and then uh, Raiden just electrocutes out of nowhere and says enough and the crowd went Mm -hmm. berserk just absolutely berserk it was like it was one of those moments where um just it it was it was mind-blowing it was mind-blowing to see christopher lambert in that as well um so uh, yeah that that movie had so many like like when when scorpion and johnny cage were fighting like people in the in this in the theater were they it was like it was like they were the audience watching the fight for real. That's that's how that's how that went. So yeah. Um, and I went on the I went on a date uh, to see the second one. That was a first date with someone way back in the ninety seven. Wow. So, way to do it. Yep. So, um, anyway, so that was Mortal Kombat 11, which was awesome to see. Um, so, the next one we'll show is Outer World, since that's the next one that people want to see. And so this was the big um, Obsidian game that everybody was thinking about. From Obsidian. Uh, let's just get to uh, yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Just there we go. Can basically call this Fallout Five. There you are. Wondering what's Yeah. One question first. Are you feeling any? It looks good too. It does. Explosive cell death. No. Wonderful. Let's get started. This does look really Welcome cool. Welcome to the edge of the galaxy, the frontier of space. Well, at least it was until the corporations bought it, branded yeah, it, got and all started that selling it. All out vibe. Inflated prices. Advertisements. The rest and... of your fellow settlers yep. abandoned on the edge of the colony. I'd save them myself, but the board's got a bounty on my head. So that's why I thought you out. You appear capable. Look, I get it. Taking on the corporation has left us with two choices. Bad and uh, and <clears throat> this game, but you, have to choose. Uh, you know, because Obsidian had already had a contract in works with another publisher before they were acquired by Xbox. But somebody last night in the party chat, they were surprised that this was an exclusive. And so when I, I said, nope, it's not. It's come. They were surprised when they saw that it said Xbox, PlayStation, right, PC. And I said, no. Nope. I said, you know, I think Gearbox has the uh, publishing rights to it. So To this uh, one? Yeah, I think so. And, you know, I think 
a lot of people out there are, you know, not, they, you know, they don't know that. They're just surprised. And of course, you got the stupid fanboys out there trying to use all that. But no, nah, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, this was already in the works and it's already been published by yeah. somebody else. So that's just the way it goes. But this, what's promising is that this game looks great. So now it does. the next Obsidian game Obsidian. with Microsoft's Please money, welcome. just imagine. Mm-hmm. And so if this yeah. game turns out great. Then well, and yeah, you it's wonder, be exciting. you wonder how much. Honestly, you wonder if if Microsoft's already helping them with development. I don't know how deep they are into the. Um, yeah. I don't know how deep they are into the development or the sale. I don't know how you know if they're. If they're fully on board with Microsoft yet, I don't know if there's mm-hmm. if they have to wait till after this game is released. The one thing that I will um, that I will say is, I I think by next year when this game comes out, mm-hmm. I think Microsoft would be smart to day and date this with Game Pass, treat it as yep. treat. Yeah, it, I think if they can work something out with the the the, the other publisher. So sure they can, yeah. Well, I'm trying to. I'm looking for who the publisher is. Did it show it in? I thought it was Gearbox. Um, Hang on, let's go. I uh, just acquired him as well. First, problem solved. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, just acquire buying. that right <laughs> private division. Gearbox. Nah, you can keep you can keep Gearbox. Hold on, I'm still looking. Um, I uh, Outer Worlds. It does. I huh. Here we go. The Outer Worlds. Oh, I, I think it's being published by Obsidian. And a company. It's got a sister studio called Private Division, but there. Oh, Take Two. Take two's okay, publishing take two. it. Okay. okay, so that makes sense. It's at the yeah. very, very bottom of their of the websites. Is Take Two Interactive? So yeah, that would that would be it. Yeah. So, uh, so I still think they would uh, they could put it in Game Pass. I think Take Two. You know, I I would have to assume Take Two would understand. You know? Yeah, I'm sure. All Xbox has to do is negotiate. Yeah. Hey, we can give you this kind of type of money for Game Pass day in day out. Yeah. So it's our studio now. Yeah. So. Uh, all right, and then we got to see uh, since since they're talking about it in the chat room, um, some Anthem gameplay, I'm back. a little bit I'm of the. Different gameplay, and uh, anybody who might have gotten into the closed alpha. I have seen the power so, of the anthem. I'm still, I still have no desire. You have no idea what the heart of rage can do that person. I still don't. I still don't have any interest in the game. I don't know why. Seven eight. Our people struggle. Uh. Yeah, I mean, it's still, once it comes out and you see more, then, you know, and if a bunch of us are playing and enjoying it, then, you know, maybe grab it, but. Well, it is Bioware, and it is, um, it is EA, which means it will be on EA Access. Yeah. I'm right there with you. Yeah, I know, it looks amazing. It. it looks amazing, Coop, but you got to remember that Metro comes out. Metro Exodus comes out around this time too. You know, see what you can do is try this out in game and uh, game access. Yeah. And then you know, buy Metro, play Metro, and if you want to play this, then you buy it. You know. Yeah. True. So. I guess you need to see. I mean. I'm afraid that this game looks looks cool, but then once you play it, you know, I don't get it. I don't have hot fuzzy feelings about the gameplay. 
Yeah, it's coming out in February. So, I'm excited so to, got, to, to fly uh, around in that, you know, Iron Man like suit. It um, done. See how we'll see how it controls. So. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, maybe it's cool the first time, and then it's like, okay, done that. Uh, that's it. Uh, okay. All right. Um, here was a game that kind of caught me by surprise. I don't know if you guys had seen much on it, um, but it looked really neat. It there wasn't any there wasn't any news of a um, of a console version, but this game called Hades. So. So, um, Witty, I, I know We Happy Few isn't in Game Pass, but I think part of that has to do with the fact that the game was already out before they were acquired. Where do you think you are? Who do you think you're talking to? This almost looked like gets out of my domain another Marvel I'm game dead. with the guy's right hand and the... You wish to learn the hard way. Fine. Then go get out. Boy. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> yeah. Little Nicky. Yeah, it's a cool looking game. It's, uh, I like the heart. Yeah. Kind of has a little Diablo feel to it. It does, yeah. Who is the uh, studio on this? Because it reminds me of another game. We were talking about it yesterday. We're like. Um, who is the game for this? Uh, uh, Mustang. <laughs> well, let's check the Epic Game Store. Um, yeah. <laughs> according to them, Super Giant. Oh, it was right in the front of the trailer. Super Giant Games. It's your only family. So. Okay. Death. Yeah, that sounds familiar. <clears throat> that looks really cool. That was just, you know. Um, another big game, which I don't think people were expecting quite yet, but we're getting another Far Cry. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shush. Here we go. Fall Cry, Far Cry New Dawn. It's like, it's like Ubisoft does no wrong. They are one of the, they are one of the most successful developers, <laughs> publishers. Yeah. I think of this generation. Yeah. I think dropped. ever since that criticism they got for the Watch Dogs, the first one, how, you know, the showed E3, but the, how it really looked like. <laughs> right. Uh, but they, they've been my top uh, publisher. Uh, this gen, uh, I've enjoyed all their games, pretty much. Uh, I have not gotten to the Assassin's game. I just, I just ha can't find time to, to play the, those games right now. Uh, but I did play Far Cry Five, enjoyed it, and this, slowly, this takes place. It's still set in the same in uh, was it Wyoming uh, or Montana? Think what? So, but. Uh, and it's like <clears throat> I was telling the uh, in the party chat yesterday. You know, uh, like what they did with the assassins, they took a year off, right? And so they improved the engine and everything, everything for Assassin's Creed. And so out of that, they were working on both Origins and Odyssey, right? But of course, they focused more on Origins, got that out. And so everything they that they did good and bad on Origins translated over to Odyssey. And so Odyssey, you know, was a better looking game overall and feel for a lot of people that played it. So this, it looks like they pretty much followed what they had with Far Cry 5. Um, and they must have been developing this too around it's the same good. time. And so. <laughs> but this looks good. I'm going to play this definitely for sure. Should have the co op like uh, Far Cry 5 did. 
It seems like, and then there's a trend too. Next year is the whole like Rage Two, you know. Yeah. So it's got all that that look and feel. It does. And this one's coming out. I thought I saw February fifteenth. I led us into the new world. I thought that it would be glorious. I was wrong. February fifteenth. Okay, so uh, that that last game that we saw uh, from Super Giant, right? Uh, the game that I was thinking of was Transistor. Oh That's right! That's what reminded me that that so same same uh, studio, right? Yeah. Now here's one that took me by surprise, only because it turned out to be an exclusive <laughs> that nobody saw coming. To be quite honest, for the Switch. Yeah, this was a surprise. Jago's gonna have to buy a Switch now. Wouldn't be the first time. They, he he. Jago, his main complaint about Nintendo was they didn't grow up with him. Well, I think now they are trying to grow up and get some uh, old school school gamers back in. You know, they get some nice third party right. deals. So. And this look, game looked like it's made for a Switch. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. When the Black Order unites, you get in this, Peter? No. If we want to survive this, we do no, it as a team. Really yeah, not. I played the other ones on the 360. <laughs> I have Marvel Alliance on the 360. Yeah, yeah they're right. You play for a while, and then, you know. I shall be but it says exclusive on the Switch 2019, so it, you never know. It could come out to it's Xbox possible? and PlayStation after that. So it could be a time it, exclusive. It's possible, but I understand that Nintendo is publishing it. If I caught that right, yeah. So that may, we'll see. Yeah, may not. Yeah, we'll see. So, um, was there anything else that stood out to you guys as far as reveals go? I mean, I have other. I mean, I've got Scavengers and Psychonauts Two, The Pathless Worlds, uh, The Last Campfire, which is the next uh, Hello Games game. Uh, I wonder if I seen The Last Campfire. I did. I missed that whenever I left. Um, so that one kind of had my interest a little bit. Okay. I don't know if anybody else in chat with something else that grabbed them. Yeah, I I grabbed all the world premiere. So if there's something that you guys wanted to see again, so. But we're almost. Don't worry, Peter. We're almost done. Not oh, good. it's all good. So it may take take some uh take some Tylenol. <laughs> yeah, I already took before the show, so. When the night comes and you don't know which way. This surprised me because I didn't think Hello Games, honestly, was working on another game at this point. Shadow lines and forgotten as you will find yeah, because I guess they got the majority of the staff was uh, continue. Uh, Improvement on No Man's Sky, no Man, right? But they said two people worked on this, so I'm not sure if it had a release date. May not see it for a while. I know Lady Foxfire just had her attention.
Yeah, I agree, Jeff. Outer Worlds. That one's definitely. Yeah, absolutely. That is on my radar now. Tonight we've got some of the biggest. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, you know what I I will say this too about the game in general and what um and what they were able to do what what Jeff was able to pull off was people wanted to use this show for for game announcements but that's you have to give it up to him again you know people people wanted to use this show knowing what was coming Mm-hmm. Um, you know, to, to, or, you know, knowing who was going to watch, I'm sorry, I, I meant to say, um, and, and, and that's, that's huge, yeah. you know, um, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. The group I- um, did you also the, uh, the teaser that, uh, Bioware had on the I guess the new the next Dragon Age. Yes, uh, Dragon Age. What was it? Um, Wolf uh, something. Yeah, the Wolf. Dread Wolf Rises. Yeah. Yeah, this was uh this was a little surprise. Yeah. So, but you know that's that's been the hint, the rumor that that's what the next game is. So that they're working on. No surprise. Uh, and we'll see how Anthem come work, come, you know, how it works. It being an open, shared world, you know, they're kind of diving into that uh, type of gaming. Right. Uh, so we'll see if it works for Anthem. I, I, I won't be surprised if the Dragon Age is an uh, open, shared world. Uh, it probably people, And team probably up, because that game is... You know, those games have been about where you go out and you team up with other characters. So, so I could see them where, you know. So was Dragon was was Dragon I Age you have questions. Um was Dragon Age the cuz I I've got them on I got them on EA Access and stuff and I haven't played them yet. Are they linear or are they more Uh the first two were more a little more linear. You could, they were kind of open linear. Uh the last one was open. Okay. Uh, the last one, I think that was a game of year. Um, but uh, I tell you what, there was just so much to do, and I got bored playing it. I guess because I played the first two. Uh, but you know, we'll see what they do on this one. Yeah. Um, and you know how? So, and then Reggie came up and he showed the uh smack and you know i thought it was funny because they they showed they revealed uh the character from uh uh what's that one game Um, you know i'm talking about uh yeah yeah i'm showing it persona yep yeah and you know he's like this is the greatest reveal ever (laughs) right and i'm like what i don't know about that right maybe for persona fans but you know Right, uh, and I'm interested I like this in not getting... actual gameplay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'm in interest in getting Smash. I want to play this with my my daughters and my wife. Yeah, uh, we love playing Mario Kart Eight together. So I can see us having fun with Smash Brothers. So I'll pick it up for Christmas. What I find funny about this is, um, uh, you. I know it's we'll you're you're you just put a character out for a game that's up. not on your platform. So Persona Five is not on the Switch. <laughs> I mean, no, yeah, that's funny, and it probably could be. It's not like it's a uh, you know the, the, the art style and all that. It should be able to work on the Switch. Yeah. So I mean, and it's not my type of game. I know a lot of people loved it, and they played like hundred something hours on it. Oh yeah, it's like, eh, that's 
It just doesn't grab me. There are a ton of. I like some JRPGs, but I'm just not a big JRPG. Yeah. So. I just think it's funny that it's that it's come into yeah. a, a fighting game that has no that that you can't play the actual game on. Yeah. So and and you know uh, Re uh, Reggie told IGN uh, you know he can't comment about whether or not it's even coming the game so we don't mm -hmm. even know if it's ever going to come to the switch so yeah um another thing i want to point out too is that so, you know Reggie Nintendo had a big presence uh they showed you know they had their trailers set and uh yep and then Reggie was there and he was you know he revealed that that part for switch but when Phil was there he did, you know. Yes, they showed Ashen, you know, out now, but right. it was it didn't seem like a big deal. I mean, people were happy about it, but uh, I felt like there was a missed opportunity there where uh, Phil and Xbox could have given us a teaser. They could have just flash Fable, you know, something. No, at, at at a big event like this, this is your opportunity to kind of like. Just you know, get people pumped for what's coming. Doesn't you know? Even if it's two, three years down the road, I mean, if they're making it and they, and they own playgrounds and and they're making it, it's gonna come. It's gonna happen. So what's the risk? So I don't know. I don't know. Um, no, no. But I enjoyed the show overall. It was a good show. Yeah, yeah uh, one, and I had a, you know. Yeah, one more thing we'll show because this was th this is funny to me while we're while we are showing this. Um, you know, it, it, Microsoft has been very um, big 18. on getting on showing off Capcom stuff mm -hmm. and showing off Devil May Cry. Um. Yeah, that that was his big reveal. Oh, it's it's uh, you know, play the demo on Xbox first. Right. So that was their big thing. Right. Which is big because Xbox has been criticized for not having deals with the the Japanese games this gen. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, just it's funny that that we're making a big deal yeah. about. A demo exclusive, oh, no. a timed <laughs> exclusivity on a demo. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. On no, a I agree. demo. So, and this game looks cool. It's, it's, it's not my cup of tea, uh, it, but I will say that the character looks a lot like the character from uh, Skillbound. Yes. And I if and. My, I enjoyed playing Monster Hunter World. So if Xbox wants to get Scalebound made, I think they need to just get with Capcom and let them do it for them. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, they got the pedigree. They can do it. They, already, you know. they could always ask Square. No. No? No, I think Capcom would be the best to do Scalebound. Like the, you know, between Monster Hunter World and this. Yeah, I guess you're right. Like a good combination. Right. Yeah. yeah, I guess you're right. So, I'm going to, I think tomorrow, I don't have anything going on tomorrow. I think I'm going to uh, download this and, and, maybe, <laughs> and maybe stream it. Maybe Platinum is it busy. Ah. That would have been funny if Xbox had bought Platinum. Oh, wouldn't that and then, be? And then got rid of, what's his name? Oh, uh... Um, what? Kamaya? Kamaya. Yeah. yeah. I would get, if I was with me, and if he is the main reason why they that game didn't get complete and he spent that money on other games, to me, he'd be gone. Yep. A powerful demon is about oh, look at this. I forgot about that part of the... Yeah, it does look cool. I think Jago left because he's gonna go play the demo. What? Does that mean you're going to? I have a duty to see yeah. through. I think he did. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna play the demo tomorrow and I might try to stream it. Yeah. Since I got all that stuff back and done and together. You HK, you gonna get some rest? You gonna do any gaming this weekend? Well, hopefully when I get my uh, room back and my access to my consoles again. And, uh, yeah. <coughs> hopefully they fire up. Uh, I know Coop is waiting on his uh, to get his X pack. Yeah, yeah, they want X. Yeah. All right. So while we're uh, while this is finishing up, because there's got another minute left in the trailer. Um, The uh, the only other big news that happened kind of this week that uh, just really quick go over and then we're gonna call this a night because uh, uh, we could play these trailers all night and I know uh, I need to do that oh so this kind of is my cup of tea act it's just the just straight up slash 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 um, and interesting that, hold on, the, it's it's very interesting that the single. Hey, uh, eight three on my birthday. Okay, well yeah. maybe I have to get it. It's on my birthday. Nice. There we go. That the single um, console listed here in this trailer is the Xbox. I know it's an Xbox trailer. I just find that funny. Yeah. <laughs> so. Anyway. Um, Last bit of news for the for the night. Uh, we kind of alluded to it. Uh, we now have a competitor to Steam, or at least what they want to be a competitor to Steam, and that mm -hmm. is Epic. Epic has decided to open up its own store. <laughs> so uh, they are they're taking they're taking their money, and they're they're uh, they're deciding to to curate the games or you know their own in their own store and the uh the thing that they wanted to entice people with so what's up gold chain um is they are offering to pay pay out more to the developer or to the to the developers and publishers um than what steam does mm -hmm. um they want to give 88 percent cut of the money to the to the developer uh rather than the 70 percent that steam gives so they think by um by being more friendly that way they're going to get a little more um they're going to get the business and if you look at the at the epic games um store site which is open it is the the game that the uh is open um Subnautica, Super Meat Boy, that Hades game, Ashen is coming is is in uh, the game store. Hello Neighbors, Hide and Seek, Fortnite of course, Dark Siders Three, uh, Outer Worlds is going to be in that store. Uh, the, the Journey, which is coming to the PC, uh, is going to be in that store. World War Z, Shadow Complex, Unreal Tournament, which is in there already. And um, and more. So I mean, they, Ashen, they, Ashen was awesome. yeah, yep. Um, so and they're giving some free games away. So uh, this week is looks like uh, well, they're, they're going to start next week. So starting next week, people get Subnautica for free, and then from the twenty eighth <laughs> to uh, January tenth will be Super Meat Boy. So it's uh it's it's what they're doing. Well, um so you, they're they're giving eighty eight percent uh to the uh, developers, right? Correct. Uh but I also heard that if they what was it? If if they use their engine or purchase their engine, the Unreal, don't they there was something else with that. I think that they they do that, then they they can uh, have their game on there for free. I'm not sure, or they get 100. percent uh, uh, There's something there. Um, I saw know, a couple things. I saw 12 percent. Um, 
And then I, there was three deals. I, th- I thought I saw three deals with that. With them. But. Well, let's see how fast this downloads. Because there's actually what's what. It's funny. There's a trailer for the store. <laughs> and actually, it looks like it's going to download pretty quickly. Um, the. Yeah, it's it's they're they're doing a bunch of of things to try to to get people um, to get people into this store. Um, I'm looking for the I'm looking for what you're talking about. Um, it'll be open to games using you know Unity and other software tools. Epic will waive all Unreal royalty fees for sales generated through the store. <laughs> Unreal developers traditionally give Epic a 5% royalty cut on all sales. So if you make your game in Unreal, you do not have to give them the 5% royalty. Okay. That's... It's... Yeah, yeah I mean, you know, it's a... It's, a, um, it's one way they promote their game, their right. engine. Um, I, don't, I don't have a problem with that. I think it's a good deal. It's a good... Uh, Steam needs a competitor... I know people are like, well, you know, what's going, what's wrong with Microsoft? Microsoft, they just, uh, they just couldn't do it. Um, but I think Epic, with their, because their engine, uh, I think they, they, they have that opportunity. They, they can just do that. Right. So. Well, they've got the, they've got the means. They have the, yeah, they have yeah. the capital. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's no store wide DRM. They don't plan to add any social components like game streaming or forums. Uh, there will be refunds. Um, I mean, this is this is a, in and of itself, it's a big announcement because nobody. I mean, let's let's be honest. The Microsoft Store is not yeah. a competitor to Steam at this point, oh. and neither is Origin even though EA has origin access and stuff like that, these guys aren't truly able to do what, what Steam does. Um, Epic's got a chance to do it. Yeah. And here's here's the store trailer. It's funny that, the, that there's a trailer for the store. Um, but, you know, they've got the, they've got the ability. So. Yeah, a lot of cool games. Um, I'm surprised that Journey's coming to PC. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised. It's a great game. I recommend it. And by the uh, way, I um, I want to play Hello Neighbor. I hear it's pretty cool. Yeah, I downloaded it too. I need to play. I need, but I need to play it in front of my my five year old because she somehow she has watched videos of that on YouTube and she thinks it's funny. <laughs> Even though so, it's right, it's supposed to be a little hard. I game. know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another thing too with Epic. Uh, and Ashen. So recently, uh, Jez Gordon has criticized uh, the deal with Ashen. That I guess when Ashen was revealed, uh, and the, back then, that it was going to be a free to play, play anywhere title. Uh, but supposedly it's not because now that because Epic has the PC publishing on it that and I guess it's not going to be on Microsoft Store not yet they're apparently they're working on it okay so you know and I you know he you know he, he calls it you know uh, you know they were lying the marketing miss you know and that he was going to he canceled he's going to cancel he was try to get a refund uh and I understand, you know, I guess if he wants to play it on PC, he wants to be able to play it anywhere, you know, if he's Xbox and then go to PC. But, I mean, to me, it's like, okay, if you don't want to, you know, you can still play it on Xbox. So. True. Very true. But, uh, you know, it just it's just one of those things that we gamers can't. A lot of this stuff gets done early and things change. Uh mm-hmm. And I guess, at, you know, Ashen is not, you know, they are a third-party developer. They, they're independent. So yep. they made a good deal. I guess Epic made a good deal with them. Yeah. So 
but it's still on Game Pass. So I don't, to me, I, I don't see the complaint. That's not a big deal to me. Yeah, I agree. So, but it's just another place to. Uh, it's just another place for for you know publishers to put their games on. Yeah, so I guess like you said, it's that's something that uh, I'm sure Xbox and Epic maybe there's like a time deal, you know, let it sit on Epic for so long and then it'll be playing, and then you know, be on Microsoft Store, play right. anywhere. So yeah, it could be. You know, it's kind of like one of those things they will have it on Game Pass. You know, okay, go ahead, Epic. You know, put it on your store. Yep. You know, the only the only sucky part about having another you now gaming store is now you have to check another store to see if you already have this game. <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah. Well, you get all your games with humble bundles, though, don't you? Yeah, that too. So most of them are Steam, but not all of them. Hmm. But. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just interesting. Yeah. Like your PlayStation games, you know, they, it's 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 easy when it's like only one system or your mm-hmm. Xbox games. Yeah. <clears throat> well, once you're all over the place, it's like, yeah, I got this game. Is it, where, how did you get it? <laughs> and some of them are, you know, from, uh, uh, what's the site? GOG, GOG, whatever it's right. called. Uh, right. So they're DRM free and stuff. It's like, uh, oh, oh yeah, I already have this game. Right. It's just uh, hard to keep track. And also, like, what do you do? You know, like with Steam, they have achievements and stuff. Mm-hmm. Now you have this one, and now you don't. Yeah, maybe for some I mean, people. You know. or for some people, that can be you know same reason why people, you know, keep playing on PlayStation or or on on Xbox. Just you know. Within their ecosystem and keeping their uh, trophies and going, yeah. And maybe and maybe Xbox should instead of trying to do their own store, why not well, just team up with the uh, Epic and say, "Hey, uh, well, they, you know, I believe I believe uh, Microsoft or Xbox they they have a whole framework that could integrate with different stores." Yeah. And well, so you still have some, and, so you still have some unity of you know, y- yeah. you know what games you have, and I'm not sure what else is involved. But well, but who you know, there, there's not exactly a, uh, you know, when you've got when you got the, the the head guy at Epic, you know, Tim Sweeney taking shots at Microsoft because of their store. Yeah. Um, why would you know? I'd be the last person I'd want to. Yeah, true. Because it seems like Xbox has a little, you know, they've gone back and forth with even Steam, right? Wasn't yeah. there some, uh, yeah? Oh yeah. Uh, well, I, I think so Microsoft is going to be more cozy with Steam. I mean, we saw with certain games that, that, that are now published on Steam. So that, absolutely, that's true. yeah. You know, <clears throat> who knows? Uh, absolutely. But Phil did say they uh, oh and uh, oh eighteen that they were get, he was going to. Start working on the. He's heard the criticism, and he's going to work on the Microsoft Store. Mm-hmm. So, I think now that he, that 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 other guy is out of the way, that middleman, yeah, and the, the, the oh right, the Microsoft was kind of you know it had its own thing going right, separate from Xbox. It's like we want to do this and y'all do this, but I think now because Phil's in charge, he's going to try to get everything. You know, on the same page. Sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, I think we got through all the things we wanted to get through tonight, and um, Peter didn't uh, fall asleep or throw up uh, no. anywhere on the show. So, <laughs> tonight was a good night. <laughs> he had to mute, mute himself a few times, but. That's okay. So that's we did hear the, I did hear the one sneeze during the uh, intro music, so. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? Um, it's all right. I don't. Uh, I thought I started with a bang. That's all right. Hey, that's how we start our show. Um, so. Coop brought up something about Oculus games. So I wonder, if Epic. They didn't show no VR games, did they? No. That's it. Maybe not for now, but maybe that's something that could come. True. 
Yeah, I don't know. Okay. No. All right. Um, anything else before we roll? I mean, it's already 11.30. We, we started on time, which is awesome. So, uh, I think two and a half hours is good. Yeah. That's been good. Good show. Actually, uh, two hours, not two and a half, two. Yeah, it was a good show. And look, people, there's too many good games out there. There's no reason to get all serious about stuff in gaming world. Just game. Yes. There's no reason. Yeah. I, I just don't. Yeah. No reason to get all butthurt about stuff. It really isn't. I don't know. No, it's just too many games right now. And, we're, and backlog. I, I, I got to. It's like Ashen came out, right? I still got to go back and finish Red Dead Redemption 2. And I got Fallout 76. Those are the three main games that I'm playing the rest of this year. I'm not, and I think I'm not going to focus on another game until I guess Anthem, um, and then uh, Metro. I think those two I'm gonna, and then Crackdown Three. You know, I'll jump on there and play it. Um, you know, yeah, can we? Can can wait for Crackdown? Yeah, yeah I can't wait for that. I am I am excited again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really am. So, all right. Well, um, barring any other any other things you guys want to bring up and talk about, um, I think we can we can head on. And um, I want to I'm going to jump into some maybe some bridge crew with uh, with Coop if he's still game if he's still up for it. Uh, Siberia, thank you once again for your very kind words. I saw on Twitter. We saw yeah. on Twitter. Um, it means a lot to us. And the, the whole chat room, man. We say it yeah. every week, and we will continue to say it. You guys are why we're here. Yeah, um, thank you very much. You know, start telling some friends. You know, I could get a couple more guys in there. But, uh, you know, start, start talking to some friends. Tell them, tell them about the show. Tell them how good we are. Tell them how good these guys are. So I just We've had a couple couple people jump in that, uh, that haven't been on before. Yeah. And while I appreciate sincere jumping in, absolutely, yeah, I asked him to, yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there were a couple of, of new folks that uh, we saw. Hopefully, you guys are were still around and uh, uh, like the show. Please buy, you know, if you're listening, um, start start getting in this chat with us because uh, you know these guys are really good. Our chat room is fantastic, and so we love Jago and Jeff, and you know Coop, of course, is our brother in arms. Um, you know everybody who uh, who takes part. Siberia, so I'm really glad that she started listening to the show again. You know, it's you know it's been great having you. You know we saw Nate in there earlier. We got uh, Witty in there earlier, uh, who's probably asleep, either a sleeper or, or high <laughs> right now. Uh, either one. At the uh, same time. And probably it could be at the same time. <laughs> He's sleeping with the thing hanging out of his mouth. Um, so. Uh, you know, thank you guys so much. Um, do not forget that uh, uh, check out our uh, so as we are a Tick affiliate. Don't forget to check out Tick themselves at Tick Games Network. They got some great writers with Sam and Nick. Nick was in here earlier. I don't know where I don't know what happened to Nick, but uh, you know, and, and of course his show, hey. the Gamer Gaming Perspective, which is on um, uh, which is on Saturday nights. Yeah. Uh, I don't care if foods offended. Food needs to get into this chat room too. Yeah, um, so <laughs> we're, we're hungry. Yeah, exactly. So um, four guys with quarters. Four guys with quarters. I was just about to so talk. Yesterday. Yes, yes. Yeah. They're on Thursdays at five thirty. That I finally <laughs> figured that out because I talked to Inferno yeah. and I'm like, dude, I want to start. Ta- I want to start. Yeah, I want to start mentioning the, the the affiliate shows, but I don't know when you're on. So. <laughs> I have to listen to them when I drive home because I get off at 4.30, which that's when they come on my time. And I I put it on while I'm driving. Nice. Yeah. So, and, and they're, they're all, um, they're all good guys. So as I'm getting, as I'm getting through mentioning them and start, you know, mentioning who's all on the show and stuff (laughs) like that. Uh, Multiverse, which is on Monday nights with Anchorman and his crew. Um, and of course, the uh, Tick Show on Sun on Saturday night, and uh, Fame. When is Fame Show on? When is Two uh, X? He comes on? on every other week. I thought he comes on on Wednesdays every other week. All right. So, 
Uh, so, yeah, check those guys out, and uh, there we go. Hey, while we were at it, we got a we got a Twitch achievement. We streamed for 500 total hours, and I gotta give Ooh. a shout out. But I gotta give a shout out to Niall because Niall's oh, yeah. a big piece of that man. Yeah. Um, if you guys haven't been watching, um, our buddy Niall, who couldn't, he 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 told me straight up, um, he he because he tried to watch the awards last night. He said there was no way he could stay up for the show tonight, but he rolled the entire Red Dead Redemption story. Uh, from start to finish, uh, he's actually uh, before the show. He did the epilogue. So um, go back to our to our videos on Twitch and check out some of his great work. And I'm going to take that whole series and move it over to YouTube because he deserves that. Nice. So he has definitely been a big part of our 500 hours of streaming. So thank you, Niall. I know you're sleeping, but thank awesome. you. Yeah. So all right. That's awesome. Cool guys, so I think we're uh, I think we're gonna roll out of here. So, Peter, go uh, get some rest. Yeah, we'll do. And uh, get better, my friend. And uh, Coop, I'll be on in a few minutes. Yeah, Siberi was saying Sea of Thieves, so I got to jump on some Sea of Thieves with him. All right, you guys do that. We're gonna do some bridge crew, and Peter's gonna take some Nyquil and go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody. Have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for starting it off with us here at uh, Next Level Gaming. Um, Peter, Chris, as usual, rock and show. Oh, yeah, man. Coop, I'm going to grab that uh, moss for 20 bucks, And uh, we out. Everybody have a great time. We'll see you next week with PlayStation Bra, uh, 930 next Friday night. Play on Gamers. Game on. Have a good weekend. Game.